In this lecture, I'm going to point out some additional factors that need to be taken into account when using Teal's incomplete method. So first of all, if there's an odd number of data points, then the middle data point should be ignored when determining the gradient. After this, we then pair the data points from the low group and the high group and determine the gradients for each of these pairings as before and we take the median value as the gradient for the line of best fit which in this case is 0 0.325. The second point to note is still if there's an odd number of data points when we come to work out all the possible intercepts we do include the middle data point. So this is in contrast to when we're determining the gradients, when this middle data point is ignored, when it comes to working out all the different intercepts we include this data point. So here are all the different data points for this example and if we just reorder these now from the smallest to the largest we can see that the median value is 0 0.030. Overall, the line of best fit for this example is y equals 0.325x plus 0.030, according to Teal's incomplete method. Now, the third thing to note is if there are more data points, then we simply make the low and high groups larger. But we need to remember to make sure that they're still of an equal size. So in this example with 10 data points, the low group has 5 data points and the high group has 5 data points. Overall, these are some additional factors that need to be taken into account when using Teal's incomplete method.